Creating a beautiful cake at home has never been easier when using our Edible Image cake wraps and toppers. When you're ready to decorate, simply take your Edible Image out of the plastic sleeve. If you need to trim your edges while it's on the plastic backing is the best time. However, you can trim it afterwards as well. Use a ruler or tape measure to measure the height of your cake and then mark your Edible Image sheet accordingly. Use a straight edge to cut across the marks, giving you a perfect clean edge the height of your tiers. Always remember to double check before you cut. If you're using an edible image for a sheet cake, all you need to do is peel the plastic backing off of the edible image and then lay it directly to the cake. As you can see here, when we peel the plastic backing off, the sheet is very flexible. It can bend and fold and has a shiny side on the back. That is the side that lays directly onto your buttercream or fondant. If using buttercream, it adheres instantly to the buttercream. If using fondant, you will need to use an edible glue, corn syrup, or some shortening to create a type of glue for the sheet to stick to. You only need a very thin layer and you want to make sure you keep it dry. The ink will spread or smear if it gets wet. Continue measuring and cutting your sheets as necessary to wrap around the cake. While the sheets are flexible and do bend, as you saw, you don't want to bend it directly in half causing a crease or a seam as that can crack your image. This gives you some leeway to move around with it without having to worry about breaking it, but still do be careful as you can cause it to crack. Again, we're going to take our next cut sheet and line it up just slightly overlapping the previous sheet we did. If we need to cut it or trim it to size, we would do this before placing it on the cake, measuring the diameter that we have. Here I'm using just a little bit of water to create or to close the seam. However, something such as a little bit extra buttercream also works great and probably even a little bit better than the water to seal the seam. Again, you want to be very careful as getting it wet will cause the ink to run on the image sheets. So definitely suggest using something such as a corn syrup or frosting to adhere the seams closed. For our bottom tier, we're just doing the exact same thing. We're measuring out the size and placing it on the cake and as you can see it sticks directly there. On our second sheet, again, lining up the seams and sealing it closed with just a little bit of edible glue or frosting. The top of this cake is six inches in diameter and requires two full strips. The bottom is an eight inch and requires almost three full strips. Pipe a quick border of buttercream around your edges and you have a simple, perfect bakery cake ready to go. You can always add one of our custom toppers as well. Thanks so much.